we are back. No break, right to the action. This is the match that we've all been waiting for. Number one, Ryan Crookham. Number two, Vito Rouge out of the rematch. And right away, classic Vito, palm in that forehead. So he likes to, you see those quick twitches for fakes. Really here, this is kind of a battle of the dynamic offense of Vito Ruchow versus yeah. the incredibly stingy defense of Ryan Crookham. Yeah, Crookham so dangerous when guys are in on his leg. It's almost like he, he prefers that rather than initiating his own offense. Really comfortable with someone in on his leg. The classic unconventional setup of I let you into my leg because that's right where I want you so I can set up my double leg. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, Ruchow hasn't been the guy that we saw win an NCAA title last year, win a world championship, been dealing with some injury, hasn't wrestled with the same power or the same sense of urgency that you know sometimes we see out of him. Vito looking calm, cool, and collected here, going with kind of a higher stance, and both guys gonna get worn for hands to the face. And I expect to see a more tactical Arujao in this match, really wanting to pick his spots. The first match they wrestled, he was in a leg six, seven times, and was only able to convert one of those. And conversely, Crookham scored off of two of Arujao's attacks. Arm drag, double leg, Vito Arujao drags the toes, gets the takedown, but we're gonna get a brick we're gonna see from a the Lehigh corner. They're gonna, Lehigh corner is saying Crookham hit the wood before Vito collected the legs and sat him on the hip. Yep. Yeah, we'll see if we can take a look at it as they do as well, but I, you know, we can't see it from where we're at. That part of the hardwood is hidden from us, but. It sounded like he hit the hardwood. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, Lehigh coach is right there, but did Vito have both legs captured before Crookham's hand hit out of bounds. And it should be noted, the official who made the call on the mat is not the one that has the final call here for these reviews. Yeah, so we can see it's really close. We just got to look at the replay. Kind of happened simultaneously. Call on the mat was three don't think they're gonna overturn it. And there it is. Call stands. And that's how you take down Ryan Crookham. You gotta capture both legs at one time. You can't just go ex single leg, extended finish. Crookham up to his feet off the whistle. Big mat return to Ruchow, but Crookham able to change over, get his hips out and escape. And it is worth mentioning, Vito did get the first takedown in their first match. Crookham darting in, head to the there outside. Puts Vito on the mat for the takedown. Wow. What a response. And Vito responds with the Grammy and the this match living up to the hype so far, and we're only two minutes in. A big smile from Mike Gray. In the corner, he's loving it. So five to four, Arujao in the lead. We haven't seen Vito too committed to riding yet this tournament. And there, Krukum gets the escape. Arujao just with 15 seconds of riding time, all tied up at five. And Vito, even in his most dominant run, NCAA's World Championships, he's not a guy who's gonna beat everybody 10 to zero or two to zero like that. He'll give up a takedown, mm -hmm. be perfectly and finally. He doesn't mind mixing it up because he feels confident. If we're going exchange and takedown for takedown, I'm gonna win that battle. Yeah. But how big was that takedown for Crookham to come back after getting taken down early? Now, 
Levels the, levels the score in the first period here. And after three minutes, tied at five. Kirkham wants to toss, he chooses to go down right away. Spiral ride for Vito off of Kirkham's quad pod. Another big mat return for Rusha as they go out of bounds. 31 seconds of riding time for Vito. Crookham up to his feet, switch, and he's out. So Ryan Crookham in the lead, six to five now. 1.30 to go in the second. And really the, the story with Vito is don't, don't blink. Kind of lull you to sleep. But as I say that, Crookham in on a single leg. Yeah, good defense right here from Arujao. Has Crookham completely flattened out. Crookham, though, good lock around the right leg of Arujao, so he's going to hold on for a stalemate. You can feel the tension yeah. in this arena right now. All eyes here on mat one. Fans on the edge of their seats. They know how much is at stake here. Vito picking up the hand movement. Yep. Warning for hands to the face. And I believe the official said both guys. Okay. So one more for either wrestler, a point will go on the board. Committed attacks at the end of this period. Under 15 seconds to go now. Arusha pursuing Crookham. Now on the edge of 10 seconds. Good circle by Crookham. If he gets shot out there, he risks giving up a stall. Arm jack double on the edge of short time. No. Woo. So Vito's choice going into the third. Neither wrestler weren't for stalling, correct? Correct. Hands to the face will be the thing to watch. <laughs> up and away, Vito threatening <laughs> off of the stand up. Here we go, comes down to this, third period, 6-6, six, six, riding time not a factor as of right now. And how many times has Vito gotten to Crookham's leg? Just that initial takedown? And then the one on the edge, the one on time the edge, was yeah. expiring. So we have seen Vito pick his shots a little bit more here. Again, Arusha taking Crookham to the edge. Crookham yeah, needs to circle in. That might be here. a stall. Action no action call. the call. Okay. The crowd's asking for a stall, but just the action. A minute 11 to go here. Under 50 seconds to go now. We 
going to see a takedown here in the final 30 seconds, or are we going to overtime? And we got Shot Crookham. Crookham. He's got the bottom leg hook. Danger count, just one though. He's got both He's legs got both hooked legs. up. He's got the takedown. He's got the takedown. 20 seconds to go. He's got a stall to give. Yes, he does. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Vito holding that left leg. Left knee. And a lot and, of pain. Looked like now, too, he, he might have shocked himself a little bit. Able to stand up on a, under his own accord. You don't like to see this, especially in a match, you know, as good as the one that we just saw. You see the I replay think it might here. Actually be ankle, not knee. No, it is knee. They're definitely taking a look at the the left knee of Vito Arujo. Yeah, you see the replay and a lot of times when it is a knee, there isn't there isn't anything really that crazy that you see. Maybe just a little tweak here or there, but Vito definitely in some pain and Crookham has choice now. That's the big, you know, big thing here. Crookham gonna choose down and Vito gonna let him up, so another point goes on the board. That's pretty much the match up by four points now. Wow. Vito gonna be have to be looking feet to back with just 14 to go. Vito, Vito Rusha sprinting at Crookham. Headgear comes off. They're gonna let them finish this though. Just three seconds now. That's the match right there. Ryan Crookham is wow. gonna do it. Kind of see the frustration here. And there's the stall call. Ryan Crookham with a flex to the crowd. Arushao gets up, but he is limping, favoring that left knee. Big win for Ryan Crookham. He stays undefeated on the year, takes out Vito Rujao.